Hello everyone, it's Michelle, and on this series, I'm going to be playing Grounded. It's a survival game that's like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, except Rick Moranis isn't going to be coming to save us. Now, in order for you to get started on this game, you need to have yourself an Xbox account already created, especially if you're playing on PC. So, let's go ahead and get started. Once you have that set up, you can begin from selecting two different options, single player or multiplayer. Single player, you play by yourself. Multiplayer, you can play up to with four friends. For this, I'm going to be doing single player. Go ahead and hit new game. Now, I've already tested out Grounded and I know pretty much the basics of the game, but I wanted to give you guys a walkthrough guide on how you yourself should get started. This is the creator selection right here. This is where you get to select your person that you want to use. Now on the left hand side you have your difficulties. Mild being the easiest, medium being middle, and woe being hard. And then you have your creative mode. For this I'm going to be doing mild. And my character that I'm going to be selecting is going to be Willow. Hey, I'm Willow. Willow Branch. Once you've clicked on your character, go ahead and get started. Hmm. Cave Nightmare. My favorite. Well, what version is it? Endless cave, bottomless pit, and possibly claustrophobic passages. WAC to move and shift to run. Control is your crouch. And this is where you start. There are five different slots here. I'm not sure why there's five since there's only four characters that you can choose from. A new nightmare. And you can not see that there's a little nightmare. syringe that goes to your arms. Sure. I'm awake. All right, and if you look around, you can see that you are incredibly tiny. Those up there are blades of grass, so you can see that you yourself are quite small. Now, before we actually venture out, I want to notice with you guys a couple of things that are on the map itself, or on our screen. In the bottom left hand corner, you have a water droplet, which is your, your water, and then on the right of that, you have your food. To the left, you have your stamina, and then to your right, you have your health. And the bottom is our hot bar, and this is where we equip items. This is a survival game, and you are miniature. You are tiny. Ooh. Good thing I wasn't standing there when that landed. That is a huge baseball there. Little pebble on the ground. You press E to pick up items. Mushroom over here to our right. And there are little mushrooms that you can pick up. And you can actually eat these. And it says on the right hand side that you can consume these items in your inventory. But you can see that it also equips the mushroom on my hotbar. On the six hotbar slot. When you first start off in Grounded, you want to make sure that you're picking up a lot of different items on the ground itself because you need those items to craft different things in game. So make sure you grab as much resources as possible. In the top right hand corner you can see when I've discovered a new item. And it tells you what you can craft because you've picked that item up. But you can also learn things in game. In the top left hand corner you have your quest or areas of interest and you want to locate these areas of interest because it's going to help you progress in game. And it says track the signal. If I press M I'm equipped with a mini map here and the little icon right here is me where my mouse is located and the radar that's pulsing out shows me what direction I'm facing. So I'm facing the exclamation point, which is a point of interest. It's also important to point out that you can go up to your quest tab up here and you can see what you have completed and what you have not completed as part of your quest. You also have a craft section here where you can craft different tools. 
I would highly recommend that all of you craft a spear because it's the one thing that you are able to craft immediately once you have two sprigs, three fiber, and one pebblet. And this is what I have in my backpack. I actually have seven of the pebblet, five of the plant fiber, and two of the sprigs. So let's craft this. If I go back to my inventory, you can see that the spear is located here, but it's also equipped to my hot pouch here. I'm going to make my way over to that exclamation point because it is a point of interest, and I'm going to make sure that I'm grabbing resources along the way. Grab everything that you can because you will need items. Like I said, I've played this game before, so I know exactly what to expect. There's some ants over there. I would not recommend attacking those just yet because once you start attacking the ants in-game, they become aggressive. Let's go over here. And we found what is called a field shelter. You can see in the bottom left-hand corner of the map, there's a little purple house icon, and that shows me that I'm at a point of interest, which is the shelter. There's a little thing over here, which is your analyzer, and this is going to be very useful in-game. You want to go up to this, and you want to analyze someone in charge of this certain things. But I haven't seen any signs of anyone else. On the right-hand side, you can see that I have three out of three charges, and you can deplete this by analyzing certain items. I'm going to show you this just now. This is my backpack right here on the left. And one way that you can know whether or not you've analyzed an item is by locating a red dot in the top right hand corner of the icon. So on my plant fiber it has a red icon and on the sprig it has a red icon. What you want to do is you want to analyze the items that have the red little point. The one item that I recommend that you all analyze first is the pebblet. So you hit, click on it and then hit space to analyze and you can see that it's gone down to two out of three charges. And because we've researched that, we have learned a new recipe, which is the Pebblet Axe. On the left-hand side, you can see this purple icon here, Raw Science, and we have 20 Raw Science points from learning the Pebblet. This is going to be very, very useful later on in-game, and I'll show you guys this later. The more, I c the more research that you do, the more research that you get. So you want to research and analyze as much as possible. So let's do the plant fiber next. This is the next thing that I highly recommend that you guys analyze. And we've now learned the woven fiber. And we got 20 research points off of that. We can go over to the sprig. We can analyze this as well. And 20 more research. And we've learned the spiky sprig and the trail marker. Now it's out of charge right now, so we cannot use this. We cannot analyze any more items just right now. You want to keep track of your top left-hand corner, but like I said, if you go into your inventory, you can go to Quest and you can see what you have and have not done. What we need to do now is investigate our surroundings. I recommend not going far from the shelter here because this is going to be a safe location that you can go to. Collect stuff along the way. Collect as much as possible. Let's pull out our spear. And there's a little mite right here. We can actually go ahead and attack this because it's really easy to kill. Go ahead and collect it. And it was attacking a gnat corpse, so let's go ahead and collect that as well too. And those are new items that we can research. But okay, we can't research it yet. Definitely not normal. Now going out in this direction, we've located something new, which is called the Mysterious Machine. We can hop on top of it like so. Give you guys a better look. Or we can go inside. There's not really too much inside that you can explore. It just looks really cool. I'm going to go ahead and kill this gnat here because it's stuck inside with me. Pick up its body. Let's hop on top of it. Kill this gnat. Pick up its corpse. Come over here. 
and there's a button that's blinking. So investigating the machine is by clicking the button that says target. This is the first thing that you want to do. Don't worry about the ant because he's not going to attack us just yet. Now that we've pressed that button, you can see some laser beams going from those little tall little towers over there. There's three of them. There's one here, one there, and one over here that's blinking. We need to unblock some of the obstructed lasers. You can see which ones are obstructed because this one looks good. This one, though, is not reaching the orb. It's stuck by a blade of grass. And the one over to our right is blinking, so something's wrong with it. And we need to figure out what's going on with it. But first things first, let's go into our inventory and let's go to craft. Because we researched the pebblet, we can now craft ourselves a pebblet axe. So let's go ahead and do this. But we're missing one ingredient and it's highlighted in red and that's the woven fiber. If you click on it, the woven fiber, you click space, you can craft it here or you can go to materials and click on the woven fiber and craft it from this area here, like so. Go to, back to tools and let's craft ourselves a pebblet axe. I'm also going to go ahead to a pebblet hammer and I want to craft this as well too, but I need a few more sprigs. So let's go ahead and grab those sprigs real quick. They're easy to find. Grab the fiber too. This is the sprig here. Grab the fiber while we're here. You're going to need a lot of resources when you first start off. Let's come back over here. And let's craft ourselves that hammer as well, because we will need it later. Very important items to have. You can see that the items are located right here in my backpack itself, but they've automatically equipped to the hotbar with the exception of the hammer, which I'm going to drag down now. The purple icon that you see there is its durability. So once it goes to a breaking point, the purple ribbon will be a lot smaller. So we need to get rid of this blade of grass here. If you walk up to it, it has an icon with a hatchet that you need to cut it down. So that's why I've built the hatchet or the axe. Let's go ahead and break this. When you use different tools, you can see that my stamina is depleting. So watch your stamina and it drops grass planks, which is something that we can use to analyze later. I'm gonna go ahead and press G and drop them here so I can grab them later. And you can see now that that laser is perfect. It's a solid beam. This one over here, however, is flickering. It's not as strong. For us to go over there though, we need one more thing with us and that's a torch. So if I go into my inventory and look in craft, go to tools, you don't actually see the torch here. You need to pick up one item first in order for you to craft the torch. And that is going to be sap. And you can find sap located near the machine next to this button here adjacent to it. It's on this little twig branch with the oak leaves on it. And it's attached to the twig itself. And you can see there's some sap here. And in the top right, you can see that I can now craft a torch. Grab more of the sap. Grab all the sap that, that you can. It will respawn, so don't worry about that. Grab some resources since I'm out. Get back on here where it's safe. And let's go ahead and craft ourselves a torch. We need two woven fiber for this. So let's craft those by clicking on woven fiber and hitting space. But dry grass chunks. We need to actually find that. And that's pretty simple to find. What you want to look for are the blades of grass that are just brown, like this one right here, dry grass. Break that down and it's going to become spirals on the ground. Collect all of those. Come back up here, go to our inventory, and I believe we need one more, yes. So let's go find another blade. Yeah. And there we go. That should be enough. So go to craft, come down to tools, torch, and hit space to craft. And you can see now it's in our inventory and it automatically equipped it onto our hotbar. 
now that we have the torch and a spear, a weapon to defend ourselves, we can go investigate that. I'm going to warn you right now. There are different creatures in the game that are naturally aggressive. There is a spider in the game. So if you have an arachnophobia, you might want to kind of switch this off. The spiders are located going towards the edge of the maps. So you want to be very, very careful as you venture away from the machine. But first things first, let's go back over here to the shelter and let's analyze a few items if we can. So the battery's recharged. So now we can go ahead and research some of these new items. I'm going to go ahead and research sap. And we've learned a plant lamp, a workbench, which is going to be very important, which is why I did sap first, and then a sconce. Go ahead and learn or analyze the dry grass chunks as well. And we're getting research points, and we've also learned the log palette and plank palette. And we can research the mite fuzz. Armor glue and stuffed mite. Unfortunately, we, we don't have enough charge for the gnat fuzz, but that's okay. We can learn that later when it recharges. Let's go investigate this beam because it wants us to do that. But in the top left hand corner, you can also notice that it wants me to do something else. It wants me to find food and it wants me to find some water. I just ran past a puddle here and if you look, I can press E to slurp, but I don't recommend that you do this because if you watch my food on the right, as my water goes up, my food depletes. Drinking the water that's on the ground is not good. But what you can do is you can find mushrooms like so. Next to the larger mushrooms, the little small ones, and these are edible. This is your basic food when you first start off. And this is what you want to consume to get your food up. So if I press the corresponding key on my hotbar, which is number six, I know I'm a picky eater, but you can see that I'm still. eating. It doesn't fill up my food very much, but it is helping a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and eat this until I'm full. And now I need to find water. Water is found at the tops of the blades of grass, and you can chop them down, and little water droplets will fall to the ground. But my water is okay right now, so I don't really need to find water at the moment. I want to investigate this blinking beam right here, so I'm going to go to its source. So I'm going to look up at it, go to the tower. And make sure that you're collecting things along the way, because you will need them. There's the tower right there. I'm going to cut through the thickets of the grass. I'm going to grab things along the way because I need it. This part's dangerous, so I'm going to pull out my spear. And you can see that there's a little mites. These things are aggressive towards you, so you need to make sure that you have the spear equipped. One hit me, so my health is going down. And the health bar, when you hit it, is located towards the top. So you can see, when I attack them, Lawn Mite. Make sure you pick up their bodies. I'm going to go ahead and kill this ant, since it's right here. And I've picked up some ant parts as well, from killing the ant. Now my health is going down, because I took some damage. You can actually build yourself a little bit of a bandage, but I need more sap in order to do that. I'm just going to show you guys and investigate this area first, and then I'll worry about my health. Since it's dark down here, this is why I wanted to build a torch. So go ahead and click your hotbar. Now you have a torch. You can see that the mites are attacking the cord, which is powering the laser. So you need to make sure that you kill all the mites that are located on the cord. Keep going, look at the cord and make sure that there's none attacking. Because I'm killing them, I'm getting the mite fuzz, which is really good. You're going to need that later in game. Now that I've killed the last mite in the top left, you can see that I've unlocked that quest, or I've completed that quest. 
while you're down here, collect up the resources. So you can see that I've picked up my um, slime mold, which is giving me an engram for a slime mold torch. Pick up all of this. And if you walk up to this little block here, you can see that it's called quartzite. You need a hammer in order to break this. So pull out your hammer and go ahead and start whacking it. And it's going to drop quartzite. Make sure you pick this up as well too because this is used in later recipes for a repair tool that you can see in the top right. Pick up all of that. And there's not too much down here. There's more quartzite. And there's more of the slime mold here. But it's good to collect a lot of resources. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here. Just go back up the same way we came, follow the cords, and you'll find your way out. Now we need to go back to the machine, which is located on the map for us. So all we have to do is go towards the exclamation point. I have a few of the mites that are still angry at me, so I'm just going to keep running. Not going to worry about those guys just yet. Because I killed that ant by itself, the other ants weren't able to aggro me. But if you kill an ant, or if you attack an ant when it's in a colony, when it's with multiple, they will become angry. So only attack ants if they are by themselves. All three of the beams are now strong and they're pointed at the machine itself. So now you can go over here where the button is blinking and you can click activate. Yes, you want to push this button. And all three beams are targeting the machine. But now there's a bit of an explosion going on right at the oak tree. So if you look around in the sky, you can see a house over here in this direction. And then if you keep turning and looking up in the air, you can see the oak tree. And this is our next destination. This is where we need to go to next. But before we go there first, it's best if we research a few more items before we go there. So let's go over here and let's go back to the shelter and research some of the items that we've collected. Remember to pick stuff up along the way because you're going to need it. Go over here to analyze. We're going to analyze the quartzite that we just gotten. And we learned a dew collector. We're going to go ahead and research the ant parts from killing that one ant. We've learned a chair in an ant club, which is a better weapon. And we can research the gnat fuzz. And now we have zero charges left. And from this, we've learned a stuff... Well, we've researched pretty much nothing, because we've already gotten all the stuff for this. But we did get raw science points. I can't research the last bit, so I'll have to wait for the battery to recharge. But what we can do is get more supplies. There's another thing, though, too, that you can break down, which is a clover, and it looks like a little three-leaf clover. Go ahead and whack that with your axe, and it's going to drop clover leaves, and this is a new item that we can research as well, too. All right, in the top left, we have a new quest. It's getting dark out, and we need to make sure that we're safe, so we need to build what's called a lean-to. And this is a very important thing in-game because it's going to be a save point, a respawn point, and a way for us to sleep through the night. Because the nights can be very dark and dangerous. But first, let me grab some more clover leaves. Because you need the clover leaf in order to craft that item. And the lean-to was something that was automatically learned for us. We didn't have to research anything. So if you go over to craft, and if you go all the way over, 2, 
utilities, you have your lean-to. And we can craft this right now. You need three clover leaves and two sprigs. So I can go ahead and craft this now if I want to. But first things first, I'm going to go ahead and get a few more items. I'm going to go ahead and get a few more things first. I'm going to collect more before the night comes. If you look up in the sky too, you can see some dandelions. This is going to be a new item for us to break down too. Go ahead and break a dandelion. And there's two things that we can research off of a dandelion. Once it breaks, you can see that it's dropped a weed stem, which we can carry. It's very big in our hands. It doesn't actually go in our inventory. And we can press G to drop it. And then at the base, you'll see some dandelion tufts have fallen as well too. But our inventory is full, so we need to make room for that item. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my inventory, and I'm going to drop something that I have that's pretty much useless. And that's going to be the one sprig here. I'm just going to go ahead and drop that. And then I can pick up the dandelion tuft. I'm going to take this item back over to our research and see if I have enough charge to learn one more item at least before the night truly sets. I'm going to go ahead and drop that right here. Go up to my analyzer. And I have one charge here. The one thing that I really want to learn before anything else is the clover leaf. So I'm going to click on the clover leaf and I'm going to hit analyze. And you can see that from the clover leaf, you learn a lot of things. You learn the clover poncho, the shin guards, and the hood. But you also learn a roof, a roof corner, and a roof interior corner. So yes, you can build a base in this game. And I got the research points too. Let's go ahead and close this out. I'm going to leave this here for later so I can scan this at a different time. And I'm going to go over here. Even though the ants are passive, you don't want to aggro them whatsoever. So you want to make sure that you're away from them because the ants will actually start breaking your base on your own. So if you start building a base right now, which is something I would not recommend, they will start breaking it. So what you need to do is you need to build up high. But the thing is, is that we've really not explored too much of the map to figure out where we want to build. So I've noticed that there's a rock over here next to the machine that seems to be quite elevated up. And this is going to be a good part right here to build. I'm going to hop on top. And this is where I'm going to craft my lean-to, which is where I'm going to sleep for the night. So I'm going to go into my inventory, go over to craft, go over to utilities right here, and I'm going to click on my lean-to. And I'm going to hit space to construct. Now the building in this game is very similar to that of the forest. So it's going to have a thing where you can place down, and then you have to press E on it to construct. When it's obstructed and you cannot build, on a surface it's gonna highlight as red but when you can put it down it's gonna highlight it as blue so find a spot where you want to put it and then hit left mouse button to put it down I'm gonna go ahead and cancel with right mouse button and then what you want to do is go up to it and you can hold E to build it entirely and it's gonna take the resources from your inventory what I recommend to, for you to do once you've crafted your lean-to is go up to it and press E and then you need to click set a respawn point. Go ahead and click space. And this is going to make it so that when you die, or if you die, you're going to respawn back at this location. And this is a safe spot for you to respawn at. So this is why I've chosen this area to put my lean to. You can also sleep in game, so you don't have to, with, to endure the night. But it has to be between 8 o'clock, 20 to six o'clock and right now it's only 1810 so the only thing that we can do right now is collect more resources so that's what we're gonna do but before we actually do that let's craft up some of the items that we can craft now one thing that's really important for you to have early on in game when you go to meal prep tab up here at the top is something called a roasting spit and this is so that you can cook food which is better than eating the mushrooms but for this i need dry grass chunks so let's go get some dry grass chunks first go up to the dead grass 
and cut it down. I'm going to go ahead and cut down two since they're right next to each other. And pick up all the dry grass chunks that you can. A couple more over here. Little ant. And I'm going to go ahead and cut down a regular, regular grass blade as well too because you're going to need this. And you can only carry up to five big items at a time. This is my safe spot, so I'm going to go ahead and drop these items here. I'm going to go into my inventory. And it'd be nice to have another torch since mine depleted. So let's go to torch. Make some woven fiber. Click on torch itself and craft it. What do we have lurking around? There we go. Now it's not so dark. Go to your inventory. Let's go to craft. And let's make ourselves that roasting spit now since we have the dry grass chunks. So click on the roasting spit and craft it. E to rotate. And let's put it next to this. There we go. And let's build it. You press E to light it. And you can cook up to three things on here. I killed two gnats, so I can cook the gnat meat. And you can see that now that it's cooking, I can move over slightly, hit cook, click a new piece of gnat to cook there, and it's now cooking too. This food will fill you up much more than the little mushrooms. Good thing I'm hungry. Just give me a second to let my eyes adjust to that. All right. The next thing that we want to think about crafting as well, too, is utilities and a workbench. But we need a couple of things. We need two sap, we need four sprigs, and we need three grass planks. Let's go get the sprigs and let's go get the sap. So remember, go over to the twig here that's fallen down. None have respawned yet, so I need to wait a little bit of time before I can grab more. There might be one over here, actually. Yes, there is. And let's grab the sprigs. While you're at it, go ahead and collect other things, too, because you're going to end up using it. Let's get back up high where it's safer. Now we can go into our inventory, craft, click on workbench, and we need the grass planks. You actually have to be carrying the grass planks, which is why I put them here. But let's pick up three. One, two, three. Go into your inventory, craft, workbench, and hit space. I'm going to rotate it, and I'm going to put the workbench right about here as close as I can hold E to craft and when you go into the inventory the two tabs here workbench tools and workbench gear you can craft these items here but you can only have the work you only need the workbench though so you have to have it to craft these items it's a good idea to craft yourself some armor as well so let's go ahead and craft ourselves some of this clover hoods and clover poncho and clover shin guards so click on Clover Hood, hit space to craft. Let's go to Clover Poncho, and we need more Clover Leaves. But we can craft the Shin Guard since we have those. So let's craft that, and let's get a couple more Clover Leaves. It's getting very dark out, so we want to make sure that we have our torch equipped. And let's find some Clovers. There's some right here. Pick up all of these. Let's go back. And let's go to craft. And let's get our last one. Go to workbench. 
Clover Poncho. Now when we go to our inventory, we need to actually equip the armor. So you need to click on each of the pieces of armor. I'm going to organize my inventory just a little bit more so it's easier for you guys to see. And let's grab the poncho. So all three of these are next to each other. Select it and drag it to the corresponding key on the right for head, for the hood. Shin guards go on the lower body, and then the poncho goes on the upper body. So now we are fully equipped. One thing that we might want to craft together, go over to base building slash meal prep utilities. There we go. Storage basket. You want to have a storage basket as well too. So let's go ahead and craft up the woven fiber that we're missing. And we need two more clover leaf. This is going to store up to 20 items that we can carry. So rather than having a full inventory, simply drop it in a basket and then you'll be able to store it. The only problem is, is that once the ants find it, they will start attacking your storage basket and taking all of your resources out. So it's best to kind of keep your storage basket away from the ants. Try to put it up high if you can. I'm just grabbing a few more pieces of clover, so that way I can craft up a few more baskets in case I need them. And let's go over here. Go into our inventory. Go to craft. Go to storage basket. Hit space. And let's put it right here. And another one here. E to build. Missing some ingredients on that one. And there we go. We can store some of the excess items in the inventory here. The bottom is the storage container and up here is your backpack. So go ahead and put away some of the things that you don't need. We have extra clover leaves. You want to keep some stuff in your inventory though in case that you need to craft stuff on the fly. So I'm going to go ahead and put down my 10 pebbles so I don't have so many on me. I'm going to put down 10 quartzite, but I'm still going to keep some on me. The one thing that I don't need is the fuzz. I don't need that on me right now because there's nothing that I can use to craft as well as the ant parts. But you need to keep your tools in your own inventory, in your backpack. And let's go ahead and put down some of the plant fiber here. There we go. Now that we're a bit more organized, we can rest for the night. Our meat is cooked right now, but we're not going to grab it just yet. Go up to your lean-to, press E on it, and you can see now that it's past 8 o'clock because right here is the time, 21.25. So we can press W to sleep. Let's go ahead and sleep. Anyone else tired? Just me? Alright, so now that it's morning, we can continue on with our next quest. It wants us to find clean water. We did find water, but it wasn't clean. But we can do that along the way. I am going to pick up myself a little bit of food for the journey that we're about to make. And I'm going to go ahead and eat that now. Mm. It's pretty good. I can put away my torch, but I want to equip my spear. What we need to do now is we need to go towards the oak tree. So just look up at the sky and find the oak tree. And I'm going to warn you guys right now, if you have a fear of spiders, you probably want to look away because there are big spiders that are really aggressive located over here. So you need to be very careful. I'm going to continue on the path, go through the branches, I'm going to pick up sap as I go, and look, there's a water droplet there, and you can see the purple icon flashing over there across the distance. To get the water droplet, to get that quest done, pull out your hatchet or your axe, and cut down the blade of grass that it's on, so it happens to be this one here. And when you hit it, the water droplet's going to come down, and you want to run up to it and slurp it. That's not so bad. 
be very careful when you go towards the oak tree because like I said there are spiders so I'm gonna pull out my spear and I'm gonna be ready to run in case I need to run like I said guys it's very dangerous in this area just look around at your surroundings there's a ladybug there or as my European friends would say a ladybird And you can see that I'm getting closer towards the tree. Like I said, be very careful because there are spiders located around here and they are aggressive. They will kill you very easily. Look around, make sure that it's safe. It's kind of bright here. And there's acorns on the ground. This is something new that I would recommend that you guys ha um, have too. So go ahead and pull out your your hammer. Be careful. Go up to it. Yeah. Give it a whack with the hammer. Pick up the acorn top, the acorn bits, and the shell. Let's get up high so where we're safe. Walk across carefully. And let's go towards that purple. come down around here and you can see that the purple is located over here little residue pick up the sap and there's a door behind the leaf we want to go inside and we're going to continue to research the oak lab it's kind of dark down here so I'm going to pull out my torch make sure you have your spear equipped because you are going to need a spear down here. This looks like nerd paradise. And over here, you have a little thing that you can collect. A BTU-01. Burgle. Order number one. Robot, I need you to monitor That's locked. Fluctuations and, inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Hello. and that's locked. Cooking, flipping, and grilling. A feature useful only to your obsolete burger flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap heap. I need you to monitor these readings, Burgle. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and grilling? Understood. Attending monitor power fluctuations to my prime directive list. Deprioritizing At this point, it's highly recommended that you have yourself some ba um, bandages. So go over to craft and let's see if you can make yourself some of the bandages. Fiber bandage underneath snack. I'm missing some plant fiber so I cannot craft it. Good. Now get on with it. But if you can craft some bandages, it would be a good point to have some right now. For us to open the door, we need to do a little puzzle here where we need to turn all these lights green. So, the only way that I know how to do this is just by pressing some buttons. We need to get them all green. And once they're all green, you can go over to the left and hit pull the lever. When you do this, there's going to be a robot here that you have to kill. So just make sure you stab it with a spear. And we took a little bit of damage. Go ahead and collect that. And you get 100 research points at the top. Continue on. My torch broke. There's a door over here to our left that we can go down. And it leads us to an area where there's a bunch of batteries. And you also have a little glowing orb here, which is research. Pick up that research because you're going to need it. And let's carry on. And there's Burgle. To the left of Burgle is a little chip that we're going to pick up. And now we're going to help Take Burgle up. Thanks for the helping hand. I am B -B 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. 
is also a robot. I'm sure this all must be very disorienting for you. No. Hopefully, I can explain. I suspect you were miniaturized and brought here by the Ominent researchers. Yes. Unfortunately, this is all speculation, because a power surge has knocked out all the systems in this lab. I don't suppose you would know anything about that? No, why would you? Okay, moving on. The batteries here are completely drained, so we'll need to charge them up. In the meantime, I'll stay here and work on repairs. I'm also happy to answer whatever questions you might have. Alright, so it says end of story content. You found Burgle, and the story is just getting started. There is still so much more to do and more of the mystery to uncover. Continue to explore, build bases, take on Burgle Quest, and provide us feedback on how to make the experience better. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, this is not the end of the story as much as what people would believe. You can actually go up to Burgle, and this is something that you must do after you help him up. This is super important. Go up to Burgle and press E. Hello there. Acting Science Manager B -B Burgle at your service. Now you have different quests that you can do from Burgle. Do you have any work for me, for example? But the one that you want to focus on is click number four. I found a Burgle chip. You need to give that to Burgle. So you click that. Prison they call fries chips. Crazy, huh? Hit continue. Is there anything else I can help you with? And now you can go down to what is now the four slot, where it has the RS for research, and you can trade him some raw science. If you have any extra raw science, I'd be happy to to, to trade you for it. Okay, hit continue. More of my lost research chips, and I'll be able to expand my menu of items. So you need to bring him some research chips. So hit continue again, and this brings you up to a page right here. You can get different kinds of research from Burgle, and this is where the story progresses. The first one here, a scab scanner, which is what you can do, is an upgrade for the scab scanner module that allows it to detect nearby raw science. This is super important. In the top right hand corner you can see my raw science. I only have 400. I don't have enough to purchase the scanner here, but this is going to be one of the most important things that you purchase from Burgle. So this is like the, the currency in the game that you need to collect around the map by researching items number one, collecting it in the wild, and by just analyzing different kinds of things. Now you also have multi-story bases which you can learn from Burgle, which is pretty much base building, stairs, floors, and triangular floors. You can also do a torch upgrade, which allows your torch to last a little bit longer, but it costs 2,000 research. Down one more, for 5,000, you can research a sturdy wall, a palisade gate, I hope I'm saying that right, and a windowed sturdy wall, so you can make your base a little bit more sturdy. I'm going to go ahead and collect this right over here. And that was 500 research points. That's a lot. But, unfortunately, I still don't have enough, because I only have 900. I don't have enough to actually purchase anything from Burgle. But like I said, guys, this is just the start to Grounded. I'm really enjoying this game so far, and I really like playing it with you all. This is going to do it for the first episode of Grounded with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you have, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more notifications of when I upload next. I'm going to be continuing Grounded with you all. Until then, I shall see you next time.